everyone. Um, I'm here to talk about the Cloud Partner Exchange on Discourse. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to get a response again from my Cloud Partner, but I can uh, talk about some of the things I noticed in the few videos that I do have from them uh, about the, the, the different parts of speech that they use, the, the pragmatics, basically, that they use in their in their speech, um, and what maxims they may have uh, flouted or, or, or whatnot. So I'll, I'll get right into it. So um, I noticed that one of my partners was very um, skilled with a lot of these um, sort of inherent um, phrases that we use in in English um, so you know maybe uh, a lot of the time we would flout the the maxim of, of manner um, so you know maybe not being super clear um, so as to not be direct seem direct so she you know, uses phrases such as, I wanted to talk to you about this. So wanted to is something uh, that we use, to, you know, that we're not just saying, I will talk to you about this. It's It sounds more um, indirect and um, it seems more casual, I think. Um, and in this setting, that would work very well. Uh, she says things like maybe uh, a lot when, you know, she she's stating her opinion on something but she'll say maybe so that you know there's room for someone else to you know disagree with her which is something that we use a lot in um, English as well um, a phrase that I noticed her using a lot is when it comes to so this is something that we we say a lot and it might not come very clearly to, to most foreigners to, to say when it comes to reading or when it comes to writing, you know, we, we just, it's just a, a phrase that we use, but I think that it's part of our um, uh, language culture that she's adapted to very well. Um, something I noticed that she maybe could use uh, work on or maybe hasn't fully grasped about the um, Western culture, possibly, um, is that we don't really use we in the same way. So she used we a lot for um, certain activities that she had done or certain... I'll give you the context. So she was talking about learning French, and she said in French we use masculine and feminine, and in French we... Uh, you know, would distinguish between the two of, you know, the masculine versus the feminine. And that that sort of we is not something that um, is used in English a lot. You know, I think we, it would better fit um, in French, they use this, or I encountered difficulties rather than using we. Um, I think this just because English is a more individualistic yeah, society, or um the Western society is more individualistic and, and you won't find uh, that sort of thing uh, possibly overseas in, in Taiwan. So, um, you know, I think that that part of the lingua culture, you know, is maybe different um, for her. But that was basically the only thing she, she used... Uh, her command of the English language was, was very good, uh, but I think that's about it. Um, that's what I could notice from the, the few uh, videos that I had received from her, but I hope you guys liked my video.